going north. So, and I'm changing the tune because you're no longer in the siren's lair, so we don't need any lamenting. That was lamenting? That was so peaceful and calm. Yeah, kind of I a, loved a it. You I know. wanted to doze off to that. <laughs> do, 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 do. There we go, let's see. Um, I want... Where are you? Let's put this one on. As you head as you head northwards. Here you go. All right. So you travel northwards for a good hour or two. However, as you continue to do so, you start getting closer and closer to what appears to be like less and less trees. The start of rocky outcrops are starting to appear. Uh, go ahead, if you will, and make a spot check for me. Oh, yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yeah. oh boy. Fourteen. Fifteen. All right. By the way, we're not on the particular... We're know. still in the lagoon map. So is everybody. No, we're still in the... Oh, you're in the... Oh, sorry. Layer. You're in the... Grotto. Wow, whatever. Okay. <laughs> But we're going to move this over. Um, before I do that, I need to put this... Now, I've got to do a little bit of resizing here before I give you the map, because this one is, like, on a different scale altogether. But I want... Get that dice out of the way. So I'm going to zoom in to where I want it. Alrighty. And there. Alright. Okay, let's move you guys in. Okay, so as you approach, um, you catch the glimpse of what appears to be some, like a, a campfire up ahead. Like at the edge of a cliff face. Um, now, if you're watching the stream, what you guys can see, our players cannot see. They oh can only boy. see the green stuff. They can't see anything on the inside. So, as it says, please no spoilers. If you throw spoilers, you will get kicked. So, um, please don't do that. <laughs> All right. So, what is this? I mean, is this like a mountain? Um, it, it looks like this. Like, yeah, basically, it's like the edge of a cliff face. But you can see a large opening over here. Okay. okay. However, in this little crappy outcrop, you can see a fire. Um, there's a kind of a fellow moving around over there. It looks like he's cutting up a horse. Ooh. <gasps> Bill! Arish. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. I'm going to reload my crossbow, which I did retrieve. Okay. Because we all retrieved everything, obviously. Alrighty. And I'm going to hug against the wall. And I'm going to gesture for Arya to hug with me. Wait, don't go in. All right. Just quench. Very slowly, I guess. Wait, Skirt wait. along. What? what? What if we try to get in with these guys instead of, like, attack them? You know what I mean? Like, become wow. a part of their troop. You see, they said, uh, the siren said there was a whole lot of them, right? Yes. I could put on a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is, what are you? What let's, are you talking about? Let's disguise ourselves. How are you going to disguise yourself? Oh, um, I don't know. I guess I don't even know what they look like. How far away are we from the guy cutting up the horse? Um, each one of these is about thirty feet, so um, quite a way. Or we could just about say that feet. we're lost. And we would love to join them, whatever they're doing. Okay. Um, suddenly you're aware the guy has kind of emerged from the alcove and is looking in your direction, like crouched down slightly. Um, so he sees us. Well, it's pretty dark, so you're not sure if he can see you or not. Um, but he obviously heard you, but you y'all were chatting it up over there, so... I'm being the wall right now. <laughs> okay. All right, he moves and disappears out of view. I don't 
think we can get in with these guys. Why not? Well, for starters, these guys threaten the siren. We need the siren to not feel threatened. I say we kill them all. No, we can't do that. Not yeah. without Piper. Why don't we try this oh, first and then kill them all if they don't accept us? If we raise the alarm, they can just swarm us and then we'll be screwed. So let's stealth like man. We go yeah, stealth. Let's stealthily talk to the one guy. He can like shout. That. No. Come on. Arya, look. We don't even know where he went. I'm gonna draw my sword and my bow. Okay. So you get your crossbow, you repeat a crossbow in one Shink. hand. Shink. <laughs> Come on, Bess, we gotta try. Look, Arya. Piper's not the only fighter of the group. I am useful, okay? The last time you fought, you were paralyzed. I can't save you against 50 people. Well, this is just one. Do we see him? <laughs> we, don't, we don't see him, right? He's just inching um, closer. By now, yes, you can see he's like he's slowly edging up, like he's trying to get a better look. Be Does nice, he have a weapon best. drawn? Be nice. uh, he has what looks nice. like some kind of scimitar in his hand, yes. Uh, he's also got a turban on, and he's very dark-skinned. Do you think he speaks common best? <sighs> Come on, just try it. If not, I'll hold person him immediately, I promise. Okay, I'll say hi, and if he raises his... Uh, hello! Uh, as soon friend, as you friends. do that, he, he kind of like, his head pops up, and he starts yelling at the top of his voice and <laughs> hold running person. in this direction. Hold person, hold person! Okay. Um, you cast I'm a running. person. Um, he needs to save. So, slash R. 1d20 plus 4. And he would need a 22 or higher. Yes. No. Okay, yep. Um, and you... I'm I was running to him while she did that. Okay, um, yep. Well, as soon as you do that, he is held. Can I just cut off his head? <laughs> Um, you can you can coup de grace, which means you can automatically hit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm killing him. Okay. Um, well, you successfully do. He is dead. And then I'm gonna drag him back up against the wall. Okay. So you're gonna Quickly. stash stash the body. Okay. And then... put on a turban. <laughs> <laughs> Take his turban off and put it on your head vest. You look have... naked without your hat. <laughs> Listen, just listen. Do we hear anything? Um, you can hear the crackling of oh, a fire. Oh no! Oh, look where my camera froze. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh milk, milk screen cap that. <laughs> She's so so screen cap that. I'll I'll get it. Wow, just wow. Can I? I wish it just had a simple screen cap. That's that's just too funny right there. <laughs> yeah, screenshot it, guys. Screenshot it. Oh, uh, what's wrong with my camera? I think it's just over. Here, I just hit print screen. I'm. <laughs> okay, good. I it's just captured just... four monitors. <laughs> Neo, that's a comic face right there for your comic. There you go. Neo, well, you know you want your to. Your camera is evil, Jane. It's. I think it's just overheating because. Oh, that probably is. I didn't even know you froze, Jane. I'll be honest. <laughs> that was that was too funny. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, it's back to my photo for now. Whatever. Okay. I'm gonna uh, give Jane the scimitar. Okay. I'm gonna take <laughs> off take off my hat and put on the turban. So she said, put on the turban. Cause it's nighttime, so you know. Right. Okay. And then, um... Why don't you take uh, the scimitar, too, so it looks like you have the same weapons as them. And I'm gonna go over here, and I wanna search around, just quickly. Okay, well, I mean, there's a big pile of wood here. There's a large log that looks like it's laid there purposely, Any, uh, maybe to sit on. Extra um, turbans? Nope. <laughs> um, but, I mean, there is a ton of hacked-up horse flesh, um, pots and pans. I mean, it looks like this guy was cooking. He was cooking up horse meat. All right, get over here. Okay, coming. You look awesome right now, Bess. I just want to say. Okay, sorry. Right. Just shut up. <laughs> shut look, up. He was gonna. He screamed and ran. He was gonna call the others. 
these guys aren't friendly. We, you have to just acknowledge it and just you gotta succeed. All right. Okay. Fine. Okay. So the next guy we kill, you get the turban, and okay. we'll try to blend in as much as we possibly can. So um, you are taking my idea finally. Well, to a degree. I mean, you know. I love pretty. costumes. Are, are you focused? You gotta pay. Okay. You know. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. All right. Oh shit! Wow. All right, hug the walls. Hug the walls. Uh, hug, hug. What did you have to do to fix your camera last time, Jane? Uh, I just turned it back on and hung up. And... Try it again real quick. Okay. Let's see if we can get you back. Because we've only got like 25 minutes left on the stream, so. <laughs> there you go, you're back. That looks back for me. Uh, okay, no problem. Cool. Alright, so you guys are going to sneak. Yes. I'm gonna peek around this. Uh, what it, what is this exactly? Like a ramp? Or? Um, it looks like basically an. Oh, it's like a large opening into the side of the cliff. Gonna peek in. Oh, so it's a. Okay, I see. So this is underground. Got it. Yes. So I'm gonna peek in. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Okay. Kind of glancing in, you can see. Um, kind of the rear end of a large horse. It's pretty dark in there, though. There's really nobody much moving around or anything like that. All right. There's no hug, light. Hug, hug no the light. wall. Hug the wall. Hugging the wall. Very quietly. That's quiet. Should we do a move silently, I guess? If you wish. If you want to move silently, you're going well, yeah. to Yeah, do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was implied, like we're being cautious. So, all right. Yep, go move ahead. Move silently. Oh, God. That's a five. Yeah. My sword's scraping against the wall. <laughs> yeah, Arya's pretty quiet, but unfortunately, you're not, so that kind of nullifies most of that. All right, well, All I'm right. still being cautious. Okay, um, what go what are you guys using? Do you have a light source at all? No. Um, okay, from the right, you can see like here, there's actually like a bit of a tunnel. It starts to open up. Um, but without a light, and there's a faint glow coming down there, but without a light source, you can't really see much more than that. Keep going, this. I have a lantern, should I light it? No, then people will see us. Um, but you are aware there's an all, there's quite a lot of horses in here. How many? <laughs> um, well, I mean, what? you can see three, but you can hear more. Four-legged oh. beasts. Alright. Should we Good ride night. them? Oh, wait a minute. Arya. What if we, like, break them free and then hide out? And then maybe lure they'll people try, out? They'll all try to capture them. Okay, you horses. can hear a few of the, the few of the horses sort of, oh. like, suddenly, um, they're like... <clears throat> Let's do it. Let's do it. Good idea. Okay, well, first... Uh, do you have any light? You don't? Really? Uh, listen check for both of you, please. And two. seventeen. Okay. Um. I. No problem. Oh, it's that guy. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that guy. Oh, it's that, that guy. guy. That's right. That guy. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's like as I said. There's enough light coming from the right tunnel to kind of light up this area here. Uh, obviously, it goes further, and it's pretty dark back there. Um. So to the right, you can see, but it's like dark. You know, you're inside a cave. There's no immediate light source, but there's a there's light obviously further down somewhere that's radiating a little bit of a of a glow. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna, with this idea in mind, go over here. Same. With the intention to see how the horses are tethered. Like, okay. Are, are they tethered or? Um, they are. They are basically each one of them is like there's like a long wooden heavy wooden beam with metal hooks or like metal circles in it and each one is like got a rope tied around its neck and through and they're all kind of eating from troughs okay suddenly out of the dark you hear a man kind of like Hale -kalama! and he suddenly charges out of nowhere when a blue what? turban running straight towards you oh, shit. <laughs> all right 
Let's do this, man. Kill them all. It's well, it's only one guy that you can see right now. Kill the um, one. So initiatives. Let's do that. Let's do that initiative thing. Really? Initiatives? <laughs> Twenty. Oh, 20. Ooh, look at Aria. Woohoo! Aria's on, Aria's on a roll. Natural twenty. First one of the night. Yeah, your your rolls have not been stellar this evening. That's for sure. It's okay. And Vesslar on a six. Yeah, I am. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm on a six. All right. Well, he comes charging out of the dark. Um, kind of catches you guys unawares. Um. So he's like right upon you by the time he gets close enough. Arya, um, unfortunately, you're the first person he sees, and he actually beat your initiative, unfortunately. Ah, uh, what? He swings the scimitar at you with a wild whoop and a holler. Um, misses you by a mere fraction as you kind of like leap back <laughs> against the wall in, in like shock and alarm. Okay. Um, now it is your turn. You're next. Um. Uh, I would actually decide to let Vest deal with him and scamper this way <laughs> to try to free the horses. Okay, so you're scampering in amongst the horses. Okay, they're already a little bit agitated. Okay, and I'm going to start untethering them whenever I can. Alright, and I am going to change the tunes. I'm going to run this one. One second. I don't know. Are we good, Gore? We are. Yep. Give me just a second. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> Jane, are you like destroying your house? No, what are you it's doing? Norman sleeping, and he pushed over a set of dice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why yeah. is it that your cat is always playing with your dice? It's, it's, it's yeah, obviously I obsessed. Know. I'll tell you, he runs out games roll? when you're not there. Okay. Um, okay, so you dive through to the trees, leaving Vesslar to deal with the Araby fellow. Okay, it is your turn, Vess. Yeah, I'm attacking both times. All right. Um, you swing your mighty bastard sword and hit the guy. I'll just do both. So uh, you hit him twice. So 2d10 plus 12 for both. So this is all the damage I deal. Okay, you hit him for 29, okay. Wow. Um, two hefty hacks. Big open up gash on his right thigh and a huge gash on his left arm. Uh, he's still alive though. All right, um, it is his turn. He, what, he basically screams at you loudly with the pain and lunges forward with the scimitar. Um, stabbing, it misses underneath your arm and you hear it go ching against the wall behind you. Pa uh, Aria, what are you doing? Setting the horses free. Okay, so you're Setting untying horses. Free. Okay. Be free. <laughs> and you can now see further up into here. And I would kind of like be, yeah. There you go. They're they're agitated, so they'll probably start running and doing things. Um, right they're now. bolting, yeah. If, if yeah. once you um, make sure they're nice and yeah, okay. Yeah, they're 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 high tailing it out of there. Over the guy and Tom the way. Rex, thanks for the follow. Lonely Dart player, thank you for the follow. Hitman, yeah, one one, thank you guy. for the follow. Awesome sauce, okay. And the Fox Rat, thank you for Jeez. the follow. Thank you guys. Follow hype. Okay, let's get some combat music going here. Okay, um, yep, so the horses start bolting past you, Veslar. Do they um, hit the guy, or...? Well, they're kind of crashing through you and him, respectively. <laughs> so, well, um, you're kind of thrown apart by the horses diving between you, seizing his opportunity, realizing he's outmanned and outgunned. He is running for the opening. So he's running for it. Um, you've got horses, you, you know, you basically lose a round with horses as you're like, ah! Um, but he is running for it. Okay. Um, all the horses are fleeing out. What do you want to do? Um, Aria. Um, so they're all gone? Um, yeah, most of the horses are out of there. He is heading towards this, he's disappearing into the darkness. Okay, so can I still see him? If so, I you would can probably still aim, see him, yeah. aim an arrow at him. All right. 
no, your no, arrow no. disappears past him by about a foot and vanishes into the dark. Um, however, it doesn't hit anything hard and solid. You kind of it doesn't make any sound at all. In fact, Veslar. Uh, I'm shooting him before he vanishes if I get a chance myself. Uh, you can, yep. One shot or two with the guard. Um, if you just stand there and fire without, if you don't run after him, if and I just don't fire oh. twice. <laughs> Yay! A one. Yeah, give it to me. What happens to my bow again? <laughs> second time this thing. Okay. Um. Well, nothing bad happens to it, but the second bolt does get jammed. So, um, the first one misses, and unfortunately, you do Shit. not get the second shot off. Okay. Cool. Damn it. Oh yeah, the, the horses again my way. I almost had him. Okay, um, so this turn, he is going to continue to run. Aria, what do you want to do? Um, jeez. I'm just going <coughs> to go over to our Veslar and wait for him to tell me what to do. Okay, Veslar, what are you going to do? If you have a choke point, I'm going to go um, light my lantern since, you know, I need to see what's down there. Okay. And um, I'm going to say to Arya, look, we got a choke point right here. We can make good use of it. So I'm going to go over here, place the lantern down on the floor so I don't have it's to hold dark. it. It's dark. We could set up a rope and then they might all trip all over it. <laughs> okay. Um, you know. can see down to here. You can actually see Arya's arrow stuck in hay bales down here. Oh, that's funny. That was a good shot, Arya. Good shot. <laughs> Um, but it looks like the it looks like from there it actually goes north and south. Do we hear anything like commotion or footsteps? Not, not yet, no. Okay. But it would definitely appear to be that he is. Um, Probably going. I mean, you don't know which direction he went, but. We need a trap fast, best. Okay, okay, follow me, Arya. I'm gonna grab the lantern, run down. And place the lantern here. Why don't you set those hay? Why don't yep, you set yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yep, yep. Okay, so you're gonna put the lantern down right by the hay bales. I'm gonna put the lantern down right in the middle. And I... I'm going to um, grab the hay. How okay. heavy is each hay bale? I'll help you then. Um, about thirty pounds. Okay, so my idea is I want to kind of cover both exits, both possible ways. With the intention of setting it a, setting it a flame when they get into range or charge. Okay. So that's my plan. My plan is to grab the hay and move it into a strategic position so when we see people charging down the corridors, we can light the suckers up. Kind of like hinder their charge or maybe catch them on fire. Okay. Perfect. I gotcha. So like this? Yeah. Okay, there you go. So you've got hay lined up either side, a lantern in the middle. <laughs> okay. Are you? Okay. I'm gonna get over here and I'm uh, gonna. I'm gonna back up. Okay. I'm just gonna. We're just gonna wait. I just wanna wait. So Arya's going here and you're hiding behind the wall. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay, well you're not you don't have to wait too long before suddenly you're aware of several Arabi fellows start charging round some with scimitars and swords some with um, scimitars and shields rather uh, one with a, you know a big cleaver type scimitar the one that you shot at earlier one with two scimitars Okay So <laughs> no, uh, this <laughs> I want to I'm going to light that I want to light that on fire so Yeah, that's my plan, to set that on fire. Okay, so as soon as they get close to it, um, they're like leaping, looks like they're, you know, they're trying to leap over the hay bales and stuff like that, so you wanna, you wanna engulf it in flames. Right. <laughs> Alrighty. So, let's do that. Alright, how do you wanna light the fire? What's the game plan? Well, I left the lantern in the middle of the room, but I did take, like, I mean, I... The plan was to get something flammable in my hand that I could wait, and then I just toss it in the hay of hay, the bale of hay. Okay. Um. 
I have a hand axe, so it would be the shaft of the hand axe, which was made of wood. All right. My hand axe is useless. I don't use it ever, so I might as well just use it as a torch, like a makeshift torch. All right. So you hurl it into the you hurl it into the hay, um, and the hay immediately starts to light up. Okay. This guy kind of just jumps straight through it because his momentum is carrying him through. Um, these ones kind of get right to it. Of course, I mean it doesn't go up like. Right. It just starts to burn and smolder. Okay, um, once this guy goes through, he kind of glances around. Obviously, he's now aware with all the extra light that you guys are there. Um, so, Aria, you see this guy suddenly jump into your field of view. What do you wish to do? I had a bow ready, and I'm going to smack him in his little face. Okay, this guy <laughs> has already been shot. So. Ooh! Yeah. 25. Is that a potential crit um, with the bow? I think... The crit range on a short bow, I think it's a 20. Oh man, okay, it is. So you gotta get a 20 on it. Um, so you just roll the damage for the, the arrow. Take that. <laughs> 30, okay. All right, you sting him with a small arrow. Veslar, what are you gonna do? Uh, the guys near me, I'm gonna swing at him. Like, bastard sword, like, try to take his head off, you know? I mean, as they're going over the flame, I wanted to Heads stab out rolling. at him. Okay, Heads so what? So you're going to attack the ones that are by you. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to you're going to kind of lash out at this guy. All right. Go ahead. Make my day. Ooh. Potential <gasps> crit. Crit fun. Could be. And yes! there's a crit. Yep. You crit. Okay. So as he comes leaping over the flames and gets level with you, I'm gonna deal a beautiful twenty-two damage. For 22. Alrighty. I'm going to move this fire just because it's annoying me, but it's there. Yeah. You can do like an orange line or something if you Yeah. Need. So I'm fixing to get rid of it. Um, but we know it's there. Okay. Alright. So you hit that guy for 22. Alrighty. Um, let me tag him. Let me color him wounded. Alright. Um, the others are going to run by. Okay, this one is coming in this direction, so is he, and these two are staying here. Alright. Um, their turn to retaliate. Um, these aren't attacking you yet, Jane, because I haven't got to you. Veslar, they're attacking yep. you. All right, the one with the shield, uh, he swings his scimitar at you. What is your AC? Uh, I don't have my shield with me. Nope. So, it's usually 20, but without the shield, it 18. is 18. Yeah. Alright, um, okay. He slashes you for six damage. The other one with the two swords lunges at you twice. Like, shh, shh. Um, he misses with one but catches you, nicks your forearm for two damage. Well, that son of a bitch. That's, I can't deal with that. Ah, uh, uh, no, you're probably dead, right? <laughs> so, um, alrighty. Um, Aria. Alrighty. You got two of them running towards you. One looks seriously injured. Um, the other one is unscathed, and he's charging forward with his scimitar raised, and his head's tucked down behind his buckler shield. Okay. Well, I am going to summon Monster 3. Ooh. Ooh. Um, I'm looking at a margin. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Um, and I'm going to summon... Troll, be it or not. Okay, hold on. Let's do this. Um... Okay. Okay, what are you summoning? Um, I'm going to summon uh, a wolverine, a fiendish wolverine here. Oh, I, I think so, Milk. It's an idiot. Is it a wolverine? Yes. Okay, well, since I can never find a decent wolverine, we're doing what we usually do. <laughs> and we're taking a twisted, nasty-looking little bear and using him instead. And making him Wolverine sized. All right, and okay. I'm going to say attack. Okay, so you're sending go, it Hugh. to attack instead. <laughs> Hugh Jackman. Go, Hugh Jackman, go. <laughs> All right. Okay, so he's charging in, and they will have to deal with him first. All right, Veslar. Yeah. Um. I'm going to attack the guy with the two scimitars, because he hurts. 
I know the other guy's injured, but the other the dude with the two scimitars and the motherfucker. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just I'm putting five into my power attack for twenty. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Nice. Alrighty. So the guy with the two scimitars, I rolled a twenty to hit. Yep, you hit him. So the damage with the BAB is sixteen. All right, hit him for sixteen. And you're just making one attack. Oh yeah, that's right. I have two. Um, you don't have to make the second attack. You can just no, it. no, I, we're <laughs> in it. So nineteen. Okay, you hit him. Eight. Four, eight. Alrighty, so um he's barely total. Yeah, he, he's he's cut up as well. So let's see, let me mark him injured. Alrighty. Um It is their turn. Okay, these two. The one with the single scimitar slashes at you. Ah, he hits you. For three? The one with the dual scimitar swings twice, missing on both accounts. Okay, um, the others are attacking Hugh. Hugh! Uh, what is the AC of a Wolverine, please, Jane? Um, it, the AC, you said. Armor class, yep, 14. Your AC on a Wolverine. 14. 14, okay. Uh, misses the first one, and the second one, he misses as well. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, get you. Let's get some initiative on Hugh. Okay. Let's see where Hugh comes in this. Fifteen. Okay, so he basically goes right before Vesslar. So it's your turn, first. Um. All right. I would. What does Arya um, wish to do? Probably. No. <laughs> get a little bow action on that orange dude there. Okay. So you're gonna stay where you are and shoot at him. Yeah, and probably uh, miss. Unfortunately, the arrow does not <laughs> hit him, no. Um, yeah. Okay, now it's your Wolverine's turn. Hugh is going to do a full attack on that guy as well. Right. The one that's already so, injured. Yes, yeah, so two here. claws and a bite. Two claws and a bite. Um, you should inflict him with rabies as well, that'd be kind of <laughs> Okay, first claw. Oh, 18. Second claw. Okay, so one claw hits. Um, yep, it does. One D four plus two, so for six. And here's a bite. Nope. Uh, four. <laughs> and he Yay, awesome uh, roll. Bites his own lip on it. Oh one. <laughs> okay. Reset. All right. It is Vesslar's turn to react. What's Vess doing? Uh, I'm hitting the guy with the two scimitars. Just Hiding twice. in the corner, trying not to die. Okay. <laughs> yep. I'm not putting any BAB into this because I want to be sure I hit him. So. so that's the first attack and the second attack. Oh my god. And that's a great one. <laughs> Another one. Oh, All right, so I deal 14 damage to him and then whatever penalty happens. Renton, thanks for the follow. Another fucking one. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, let's see. So, thank you. <laughs> Here, UK. Thanks for the follow. And hey there, one eye. Thank you for the follow. All right. So let's see. Um, where are we at? You're, you're losing me here. We're getting between All right, and the so, so you hit once. This is my second attack. I got a critical fail. Yep. So, um, but you hit the first time. For 14. Yeah. Um, second attack. Okay, nope, it wasn't that bad a fail, it's just a miss. <laughs> so you hit Scimitar Guy for 14. Put some on. Okay. Um, he is looking pretty, pretty well worse for wear at this point. Bleeding profusely, looks very badly hacked up. Alright, it is their turn again. Scimitar Guy lunges at you. Twice misses. The other guy leaps out from behind his shield. Once again, hits you for four. Scimitars don't hit that hard, but you're slowly being hacked to pieces. <laughs> okay, much. Um, they are attacking. Okay, this guy hits you. 
for seven. Ouch. The other one hits you for five. Ouch. Total of 12 damage to your Wolverine. Ouch. 12 damage. Huh. Okay. 12. Okay. Okay, you can hear the running of footsteps. Oh boy. Okay. Um. All right. Um, Aria, what would you want to do? Um, jeez. Uh, sorry, I'm going to... Right, what I am going to do real quick is I'm going to go ahead and draw... Yeah, is that right. fire doing anything? Um, I'm just, I'm just putting it on there. Uh, it, it's segmenting off these two that are fighting you from the ones that are coming. Got it. I'm gonna yell to Besslar, like, "There's more!" Because I heard we heard. Yeah, y'all steps. can hear them. They're coming from the north and the south. I'm weak, Bess. And then I'm gonna send another arrow at this guy. Since... Okay. Yep. Why not? If you're not careful, you're gonna get overrun. Um, the arrow hits him. Okay, uh, hits him in the neck, and he collapses on the floor, dead. You killed wow. that guy. So he is he is down and out. In fact, you know what? Rather than use X's because it's gonna make it kind of weird, I'm just gonna turn him purple. Purple's dead. Okay. Okay. So um, Hugh is next. He's fighting his one. He's got one to fight. Okay. <laughs> He'll go ahead and do his full attack then. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Uh huh. <laughs> the oh ones are real. One. There's a hit. There's there's a hit there. <laughs> okay. Uh, he hits with the second claw. Four. Four. Nice. Okay. Nothing. And he okay. fails to bite the guy. Okay. Um, Veslar. Oh no. He. Uh, yeah, Veslar. Okay. Yeah. You can you can see like. On the other side of the flames now, there's a couple of them. Um, one of them has a bow. Um, and he is trying to get as close to the edge of the wall as he can to try to get an angle. The other one, unfortunately, has a long spear. He can reach over the flames and he tries to stab you. Ow. He misses. <laughs> yeah, so my plan is just to barrel out of there. Like, we're... We don't want to become overrun and I haven't set fire to the other hay, so... Nope. They're just going to swarm uh, glancing me. Glancing up there, you can see that there are three more coming from that northern direction. Yeah, so I'm going to try to just barrel through everybody to get to Arya. So you're going to bull rush straight through the gap? Yeah, I'm going to bull rush straight through the w injured one. Okay. Um, well, they're both injured. One's nearly dead. So you're going to use the aim to put all the most of the pressure through the weak guy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, go ahead. Make a bull rush attack. Melee so attack with your bonus. Just a strength bonus, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. And they also lower. Thank you for follow. Thank you. Yay. Twenty. Twenty. Okay. All right. Um, you smash through both of them. Um, you do incur attacks of opportunity. But they both missed. Okay. So you <laughs> bulldoze and knock your way through. How, but how far can I go? I mean, after I pull um, You can get all the way to here, but you got this guy as well. So if you want to keep running, he'll get an attack of opportunity as well. Yep, and I'm I'm going to try to go... I'm going to jump over the dead corpse and, you know, right. to get to Arya. And basically say... Okay, he slashes out with you as you do so, um, stumbling and tripping over his friend and landing on his face. Yes! Wolverine, kill him! And then... Um, I'm going to just say, Arya, we got to get out of here. Okay. Okay, I'm so gonna... you're going to leave the Wolverine to fight the guy, and you're gonna, you two are running for it, I take it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, make an attack for the Wolverine, then, as you flee. Okay. Flee, flee! Oh, don't want to do that. Uh, six? Why is it going blue? <laughs> okay, see. 
Nothing. Okay. Your, your dice seem to be manipulating it, making it doing weird. Uh, he oh, hits. Really? He he hits oh, with he a does. claw once. Yep. <laughs> yeah, every time you roll, it's like putting a blue thing across the screen. <laughs> weird. Okay. Messed up dice. All right, the Wolverine hits him for four. All right, so that's a total of eight. Okay, um, and you're running as fast as your little legs will carry you, so you can move 90, which is three complete squares. And we have a donation. All right, run. So we will, okay, so you guys are running to there. Um, At this point, these two are not gonna chase you. Um, because they're injured, these, um, these guys will. Hopefully they can't chase us too quickly, because their horses are gone. But they've got to get through the Wolverine first, so we'll hold them up here. Alright, um, let's roll. Four. Total damage to your seven, fourteen... Does he have 19 hit points left? 16. Oh, uh, okay. So then he is destroyed. Oh. Um, all right. But you guys, um, you th- he bought you another round. So you guys can get all the way out to here. Yeah. So awesome. um, what's what's around us, actually? Like, um, It's about probably 100 or so feet. I mean, bearing in mind, you're, it's, you're on a, if you remember, you were going up a hill. And yeah. it was becoming rocky and stuff. Um, there's a cliff face behind you in front of you if you run down the hill after about a hundred or so feet you hit the tree line okay let's get to the trees to the trees they will protect us do we see any horses or do they just really Um, well you can't see any just off the top of your head I mean they were pretty scared of spook there was lots of yelling screaming and fighting so they probably scattered to some degree okay so yeah to the trees all right so you flee into the tree line to avoid being chased and murdered and hacked up. And what happens, we will find out <laughs> next time. Hi there, I'm Gorbad, the Dungeon Master on How We Roll. And if you'd like to follow my personal challenge, you can do so at twitch.tv slash Gorbad or follow me on Twitter at Gorbad. Are you the victim of magical malpractice? Is your neighbor a cultist attempting to summon an evil god? Do you know of a crazy elven sorceress who casts fireball constantly, endangering innocent lives? If you answered yes to any of the questions above, you need me, Vestlar Nolith, witch hunter extraordinaire. Contact me at aneb underscore convos on Twitter or twitch.tv slash shagget. Magic is wrong. Do the right thing. Hi guys, I'm Bane. If you'd like to hang out with me some more, come chill in my own personal stream at twitch.tv slash Bane1271 or toss me a follow over on Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook at Bane Blackstar. I hope to see you soon. My name is Jane. I don't stream very much, but you can follow me on the Twitters over there. That's all I really got to say. Uh... So I guess this is goodbye. Peace, suckers.